hey, it's Cat at Cat Tales to be outside the code house. Um, someone brought up a very interesting point. Hopefully you guys can hear me because it's very loud. Anyway, Tori didn't have a team, a team that actually had his best interest at heart. He should have had a very, very strong criminal defense attorney from the jump. He also needed a social media expert. They obviously didn't have that. And also, I was told by someone in the media, Tori's family, AK dad, could have used the media more effectively, actually talking to the media. Because you have to understand something. It's an election season happening. They're using this case as a method to get elected to the next, you know, the next term. So you need to tell the truth, but also testify. And if your attorney says, I don't want you to testify, you say, I don't care, I'm going to testify. Tory made a lot of mistakes. I don't think he deserves to go to prison for it. However, I'm just telling you these things so you guys hopefully can understand better how other people who have more expertise are seeing this. You have to use the media. The media was used against Tory, those fake bloggers that were on payroll by Rock Nation. They knew how to close all the angles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Remember how Armand got Nick and NyQuil to switch and be more aggressive with her coverage? How Snake Girl interrupted when I was talking to Milagro. By the way, Snake Girl showed up. Whatever. Anyway, you got to be able to use the media. So Megan has a team. That's what's a part of being a part of a big company like Rock Nation is that they have a team of experts, of fixers, who can make things disappear like evidence and videos. And Tori didn't fight back. I don't know why. I don't understand this case. All I knew is that I found this case and I thought, what the fuck is going on from the beginning? It seemed weird. Also, the people that came to the courthouse were weird. They still have a lot of weird people. But I also kind of think, you know, some people are innocent. You know what I mean? Like, I came to L.A. I was innocent. I didn't know that the directors were trying to sleep with you and give you parts if you slept with them. I really didn't even think that. I just thought, oh, yeah, everything's based on merit. I was very naive. But learn from my mistakes and learn from Tori's mistakes. One, be very careful about using drugs and alcohol and being around people who you can't trust. You should never be drunk at any parties. I believe that whether you're a rapper or you're, you work for Xerox, you shouldn't be getting high at any parties, any business meetings, stuff like that, because it's just, it's a bad look. But also, if you get accused of a crime, make sure you have competent counsel that's not working for the opposition. I still don't understand the people that Tory hired especially George M. I think he sucks so bad. Not calling the witness the driver on the stand, not delaying the trial, not objecting to the things that Kathy Toss said. He didn't even ask whose gun it was. I asked that question outside the courthouse during the motions hearing after it was denied. I said, well, whose gun it was? Whose gun was it? And Alexander Bott said it didn't matter. This, this is a case that was lost from the jump, really. But I just wanted to share that with you. You can't afford to be high around people. You just can't. And you don't know what they're gonna do and how they're gonna take advantage, but you gotta have a team that understands how to use the media and get your story out there. And the problem right now is the family doesn't want to talk to the media, but I don't know, it's probably too late now, but if before the motions were denied and during the trial, it would have been a good time to talk to the media and plead your case. And Tory could have said 
to his attorney, I want to testify. I don't care. I'm going to look at the jury and tell the truth. And that might have changed things a little bit. I don't know, because this case is so crazy and there's so many powerful entities involved. And it's also an election season coming up and they have to they have to have a convention conviction. Sorry. So anyway, I hope that helps. It really doesn't. But I just find found this case very shocking and uh, heart wrenching, to be honest with you. That's why I was covering it the way I did. But listening to someone who didn't have emotional connection to it and them telling me, hey, look, you got to talk to the media. you got to have a team. you got to have really competent attorneys asking the questions at the right time, destroying the, uh, the accuser's testimony, and they didn't do it. They were sloppy from the jump. And you can't, like I said, I don't know how if Tory was high all the time, but you can't allow that to cloud your judgment. So I hope that's helping. That's what I'm here to do. All right? This is Cat at Cat Tales TV waiting for the uh, sentencing. It should happen any time now. Bye.